everyone, I'm Caitlin Osmond, and if you're anything like me in this time of social distancing, you feel pretty useless. There's so many people out there risking their lives every day to save ours so that one day we can get out and see our friends again. It might be a while for that, and to be honest, that really sucks. I miss normalcy, I miss my friends, I miss hugs. But in the meantime, I've been super inspired by the amount of people that have brought the world and communities together to help fundraise or to help in any way that they can. One of those incredible people I'm honored to call a friend. She's a two-time Olympian, world medalist, and Battle of the Blades champion. She is now the creator of Open Ice that launched just over a week ago. I had the opportunity to sit down with her a few days ago to talk via Zoom about Open Ice and what you can do with it now. Please welcome Caitlin Weaver. Um, I, I mean, like all of us, we were sitting in our apartment and apartments, and so I was just like, what am I gonna do now? You know, as athletes, I think we're always seeing what's next and, and asking the question, what am I going to do during this time? Um, and I didn't know what that was. And so I just kind of did random stuff. I organized my bookcase. Like I did just, you know, kind of inconsequential things. And then I watched Rosie O'Donnell's show that she did benefiting the Actors Fund, which is everyone um, that works for Broadway that's out of work. And so she had all of Broadway's biggest stars come on the show in this like talk show style uh, fundraiser and she raised over six hundred thousand dollars and I thought man that's so cool and she's got such an insider look at these stars I didn't even know who half of them were but I, I watched the whole three and a half hours so like engaged and um and it gave me something to kind of be excited about and have a night to watch and um after or during the next few days I was just like I wonder what I can do that's like that I mean I've got a lot of friends and I've got a lot of time so what is it that I can do with this? And so the very the first person that I called was Jordan, Jordan Cowan of Honest Perspectives. And I said, I have this idea. Do you think people would even go for this? A couple of skaters have said that they would be, you know, interested. And he was like, Caitlin, yes, go. Just start dreaming big, put it on the internet, say you're working on something and, and go for it and document it. And, um, and a couple of days later, he said that he would join me. The first person I can think of before Jordan that I that I contacted was Shailen Bourne's husband, Bodan Turok, um, and he's, he's such a visionary. And so I spoke with him from a creative aspect, and he helped me. Um, first of all, Shailen helped me name it, Open Eyes. <laughs> and then um, Bodan helped me narrow the vision into what the purpose was. What were we trying to do here? Um, but the early skaters that I contacted, like, Adam Rippon was like, yeah, Caitlin, let's do this. Ashley Wagner, Caitlin Osmond, Eric Radford, Patrick Chan. Like, there's so many that I just, my little circle of friends that, you know, at the end of the day, we're all just friends. I think it was upwards of 65. Wow. Um, and the countries, it was, I think, I think 15 to 20. I, I honestly haven't counted, so it's up to the fans maybe to go back and count. Um, but it was a lot, man. And I just like, I'm blown away by the willingness to participate and, um, and, and join together. Our, our community is a family, but at the end of the day, we're all trying to kind of compete. We're all competing against it, one another. And to me, it was so powerful to see everyone join together for one cause. A lot of names are running through my head. Um, starting from the beginning though, I was so, excited to see a familiar face that was Elaj Balde because he was right off the top and I was nervous as hell I mean I'm gonna be honest and and to see a familiar face that I've known for so long was just like oh, it gave me a big breath and I, you know there were so many things left to do but it, it made me feel really good I have to say um meeting Christopher me, meeting Torval and Dean Jane Torval and Christopher Dean I haven't spoken to Jane. I've never in my entire life never seen her face like like this or <laughs> spoken to her on the phone. And so there was a part of me that was like, okay, next is Torvald Dean, cool. And then I looked and then I was just like, oh my God, there she is. And just to know like the impact, you know, who they are was mind blowing. And I think I, I haven't watched it back, but I, I took a second to be like, oh my God, it's you. <laughs> Um, and then I was very excited for Kurt, the clown, Ragadin, the clown, um, who we as Canadians, you know, know and love, but I, I hadn't seen Ragadin for years now, like in any show. And um, 
very grateful for Raggett and to show up and share his antics. And I had no idea was, what was going to happen. I just was sitting there as another member of the audience. But I was very <laughs> excited for that segment. Michael Marinero. The courage that he took to come out um, in front of everybody and, and talk about his experience so directly with COVID-19. I have chills. Um, you know, it, it took a... I understood how much courage it took for him to do that. And I'm so grateful for him because that's the reason why we were there is to help people that need it. And um, he shared a lot of himself. Uh, two people come to mind and that's um, Tracy Wilson, who was the very first guest. And, and, and she was speaking about how, what we're used to as skaters and as fans of, of our sport and that we will come back from this. And that, you know, we, we know and trust Tracy and to hear that from her just right out of the gate was important. And then Sandra Bezik on the flip side, you know, towards the end of the show. And she came out and said, we're going to be changed because of this, but we're going to be better as a group. And um, we've all been touched by this, um, but let's be better. That to me was very inspirational. Oh, the makeup challenge, I think. <laughs> The makeup challenge, it's hard to say between uh, Ashley and, and the uh, design challenge, Ashley mm -hmm. Wagner and the design challenge. The makeup challenge I've, I've seen a few times over now and I can't stop laughing. Um, Adam co-hosting it and, and us just cracking up at the boys doing the girls makeup and what they thought looks good in 30 seconds time, I mean. It was a nice moment to kind of forget about the world and, and just laugh with each other, you know? And I'm so happy that those skaters were, well, grateful that those skaters were, were willing to go there. <laughs> Gabby Papadakis um, on the guitar, singing Delita. Um, Morir sur la scène, I think it was. Uh, it was jaw-dropping and I knew that was coming and I I, um, I heard her sing at Eric and Luis's wedding and I was just like whoa where did that come from I didn't know I mean like she's so talented I didn't know it was like that talent in that way you know and so then when I called her to be a part of the show I said would you want to sing a song and you don't have to I just want you to be involved in any way that you feel good about but like would you be able to sing a song? And she was like, let me think about it. And then a couple days later, she said, yeah. And I had no idea that's what she was bringing. It was just mind blowing. And I remember putting her full screen and just sitting back like, <laughs> cause she's just incredible, such an artist. Um, so that's the first one that comes to mind. Like what a, what a cool thing to show that during this time, being outside of your comfort zone and trying something that you don't normally do is okay. And um, what an opportunity just for her to show that side of herself. I just, I thought it was so cool. Um, Caitlin Sandwich. <laughs> um, you know what? When I can, I miss, I miss my partner, Andrew. Uh, we've, we've never spent this much time apart in 13 years and not even close to this. And so it's, I miss him a lot. We talk every day. So there's that and thank God for FaceTime. But um, just someone that I'm so used to having literally on my side at all times through, through the good and the bad. Um, it's been, it's been hard to just be okay with a screen, you know? And so I'm, I miss skating. I miss all those things, but I, I miss my best friend. And so I'm looking forward to seeing him. If you go to openicelive.com, um, there's a, like the frame is right there. You can watch the whole thing. Um, it also is replaying on Skating ISU's YouTube and On Ice Perspective's YouTube, so you can watch everything as it happened, all of the crazy things that happened. Um, and we're also uh, editing it on Instagram to have little little pieces, little highlights like the Battle of the Bryans and um, Rapid Fire with Nathan Chen and a uh, message from Satoko Miyahara to Japan. Like, there's so many moments that we're also trying to segment and make it easy for people to share because there were so many good messages, I think, um, from our skating community to everyone at home. So right now it's over $41,000. Wow. Um, and the event was just over four. It was four hours. It's supposed to be only three, but um, it's, it was four hours. So I think I'm so proud. Even if we raised a dollar, it was still a gift to be able to do 
for me in my life, but um, I'm just so inspired by the power of the skating community coming together for good. And um, the donation link is open through May because there's some people that just can't afford to give. Um, but maybe in the next month they might be able to and still want to. So um, the donation link is open just for anybody that is watching now for the first time or wants to give. So um, looking forward to making that donation to the UN Foundation and saying this is on behalf of the skating family to you. Oh, I'm just so happy that it all went out. Like <laughs> it, it went over so well, you know. Amazing. Uh, just to end it off, I want to end you oh, I want to end you no um <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry bad word choice um I want to end it with a fun rapid fire quarantine edition okay all right um favorite quarantine activity um Netflix ah no that's not what I meant <laughs> it was the first one okay. rollerblading rollerblading okay Netflix and rollerblading perfect <laughs> <laughs> Fave quarantine workout? Uh, dance class, for sure. So much fun. Um, nap time or do you power through? Nap time, 100%. Big believer in naps. Um, in skating career and out of skating career. <laughs> <laughs> so the best. Um, favorite quarantine snack? Cheez-Its. I don't know. I don't know. You don't There's know? Reason. I just found them at the store and, you know, that's like my new discovery. <laughs> uh, quarantine drink. Um, I've been big into taking this time to discover the world of IPA. So I do not, um, you know, endorse like drinking all the time, but it's been kind of fun to um, try something new in that way and, and um, see what I like. So. Perfect. You'll know more about yourself afterwards. I've been dealing with the gin smashes. <laughs> I love, I actually love IPA and they go really well with Cheez-Its. Perfect. <laughs> IPAs and Cheez-Its. Yeah. Sounds delicious to me. Hashtag. <laughs> um, movies versus books. Um, I've been reading Glennon Doyle's Untamed, which is fantastic. Uh, and I have still, I still have this book that I haven't started because I haven't finished Untamed yet. So I've got this ready. Um, but I have seen a few movies that have been extremely moving. And um, so I guess a little bit about hard, cool. hard cues. Um, and besides yourself, who is your favorite, Caitlin? <laughs> you. <laughs> I really just planted that one in for myself. It's okay. <laughs> Clearly, even if you didn't ask me that question, Caitlin Osmond, duh. <laughs> It's not that self-centered, but it's nice. <laughs> there is another great Caitlin in Biggest Skating, Caitlin Hawaiik. Um, so, you know, it feels good to have this name, but Caitlin Austin all the way. Yeah, any Caitlin's a good Caitlin. <laughs> That's true. Aww. <laughs> I like to spell our names wrong. <laughs> I'm starting to just think there's no right way to spell Caitlin. <laughs> My mom wanted to be creative, so did yours. <laughs> all right thank you so much caitlin and i'm like throwing my pencil around now um <laughs> thank you so much caitlin that was a lot of fun and like i like caitlin said still open to donate uh just visit open nice and the link will be there um and if you can't donate share and spread the love that's right you only a little love right now i miss you i can't wait to see you soon whenever that is hug from a distance Hug. I don't know Bye. how to hug over a screen. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you.